but those uh, alien heads are just all whacked out. It's really. What's up, guys? Bart with Sinister Serpents back with another video this week. Um, I know, big surprise, two videos in a row, but I figured you guys deserved it after that last break. Um, <laughs> uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at some blackhead clown stuff and a couple of the pairings we got going on this year. Um, some really exciting stuff. Um, as much as I really love these babies that I'm going to show you all today, I can't wait for the new stuff this coming year. So um, let me go ahead and get this up on the tripod and we'll take a look at some badass blackhead head clown combos. All right, so up first, we've got this single gene blackhead girl that's head for clown. Now she's off the spot nose bred to the single gene blackhead female. Really, really nice example of a blackhead here. I mean, I've seen nicer, but not too, too many. Uh, you're going to see white coming up from the belly, both kind of like flaming and popcorning. Uh, the alien heads are going to have, you know, reduced uh, little to no keyholes, I guess you'd say. It's more like a graniting effect inside the alien heads. Of course, you're going to have darker, uh, richer blacks <laughs> and uh, thinned out eye stripes. One of the big markers for blackhead. Yeah, she's really just really nice blackhead head clown female. Uh, this is a whole bat girl. I'm keeping most everything that I made blackhead head clown this year. Just because I didn't have any of the blackhead mixed into clown yet. But we do have one of her sisters listed on Morph Market. So if you're interested, check that out. All right, let me put her up and I'll grab the next one. All right, so this girl is what I believe is a blackhead, a fire vanilla special Het Clown. Um, she's also a possible Het for Hypo and Desert Ghost since she's off the Black Pastel Clown male. Once again, you're going to see the white coming up from the belly, popcorning and the flames again. You see that graniting effect in the alien heads there. Um, I didn't see their mom at this age because she was probably close to six or 700 grams when I got her. So I'm not sure that this is what she looked like, but it's pretty close to what she looks like now. So I'm calling it Blackhead Fire Vanilla Special Het Clown. Impossible Het for Hypo and Desert Ghosts. This girl is definitely a hold back. Really, really, really love this combo, and I can't wait to see it in Visual Clown. Right, let me go ahead and put her up, and I'll grab the next one. All right, so this is where I start to kind of not really know exactly what these guys are, but most of these are going to be holdbacks, so it doesn't really matter, I don't guess. I'll just figure it out as they get old enough to breed. Now, this guy is off the... Blackhead Fire Vanilla Special Female bred to the Black Pastel Clown. And I think this one is, well, it's definitely Fire and Special, Fire Vanilla and Special and Het Clown. Um, thinking it might be Black Pastel. Um, I don't think it's Blackhead, but it does have the graniting effect in the alien heads and the popcorn and the flaming coming up from the belly. But it doesn't have the thin eye stripes. So. Yeah, I'm not super sure, but he's more than likely going to be a holdback anyway, so we'll figure it out down the road, I guess. <laughs> he was a one of three from this, clutch, uh, from this clutch that didn't do too well at first. He was assist-fed probably for the first three or four meals, but he's uh, eating on his own now. He's doing really well. Unfortunately, the other two are still having to be assist-fed. Um, if the male is looking decent, I'll probably show you all, show him off because he is really really cool looking so um let me go ahead and put this boy up and i'll grab the next one all right so this girl is not a big fan of being handled so i'm going to try to make this one fairly quick uh, this one comes off of the blackhead female bred to the spot nose clown and this is what i think is the, the blackhead spot nose head clown um not as strong as some elite combos but you can tell it's clearly blackhead from the just how dark it is and how the Thinned out eye stripes, got the granite effect in the alien heads, and the white coming up from the belly. But then you got the spot nose kind of fighting with the black head to put the holes back in the alien heads and kind of lightening up that head stamp, but not really filling a spot nose head stamp because the black head's fighting against that. But still a really, really interesting, cool looking female to hold back, and hopefully she is the combo. And 
it'll be a Lelic combo and she won't throw any normals. That really bright dorse or that really bright stripe all the way down the dorsal is pretty cool too. So once again, what I believe to be blackhead, spot nose, and she is 100% head for cloud. All right, so this last girl here is one of my favorites that I've made all year long. And this is what I believe to be black pastel, blackhead, uh, special head clown. I'm pretty positive that she's blackhead and black pastel, but the uh, special I'm not super sure about. But she does look similar to the same combo, but with Mojave instead of special. And since I couldn't find the blackhead, black pastel special, it's the only thing I really had to compare it to. She got those really, really high white sides, fades into gray and up into the black. Another crazy dorsal. It's all broken up and really just kind of cool looking. And got all the alien heads floated up, which you get with black pastel mixed with the uh, bell complex animals. Um, and then, yeah, those uh, alien heads are just all whacked out. Really, really nice girl, and if she proves out to be head for hypo and or desert ghost, that would be just unbelievable. So, once again, what I believe to be is the black pastel, blackhead special, het clown, possible head for hypo and desert ghost. <laughs> oh, and there's those really thin eye stripes again. All right, I figured I'd show this pairing off even though they're not locked up right now. This is my Acid Het Clown Boy. And this girl back here, if you've seen much of my channel, you've probably seen her before. This is the Smiley Snake. She's got a little stuck shed there. Yeah, there's the smiley face. So this girl is a, what I believe is an Orange Dream Spot Nose Blade Clown. And boy, I can't wait to see what acid will do in that combo. Right here we've got the Wookiee Red Stripe that's 100% het for Desert Ghost and possible het for Clown breeding to a Spot Nose, possible Orange Dream Clown female. Oh, and then right next to them we've got, let me make some room here. I'm on to one of those clutches. This is the Blackhead Fire Vanilla Special Female. But since I was showing some pairings and they're literally right next to each other, I figured I'd show the mom of that clutch off with one of my favorite pairings for the year. All right, and since we're on this side of the room, I figured I'd show this girl real quick. She looks like she's a, getting ready to lay here in the next month or so. Um, this is my Inchy Desert Ghost female, and she was bred to that same male, the Wookiee Red Stripe Het Desert Ghost. I'm really excited about this. It's still, as I described it last year, is my most anticipated pairing of the year. Same for this year. Um, Desert Ghost, you got to have it in the collection. And you can't really beat it with the dark jeans. Or can't really beat the dark jeans in Desert Ghost. I'm not a big fan of the pastel or lesser, any of that stuff in Desert Ghost. I prefer the darker stuff for sure. I do like Orange Dream and Fire and things like that in Desert Ghost. I just... Not a big fan of the way pastel basically makes everything the exact same color. So, but yeah, Inchy Desert Ghost bred to the Wookie Red Stripe Het Desert Ghost, and I'm gonna shut this up and leave her alone. <laughs> All right, guys, some pretty awesome stuff there. Um, I love that last female that I showed the uh, blackhead, black pastel, probable special Het Clown female. Um, yeah, I was really, really hoping to get that combo without the fire of vanilla, and I did. Hopefully. Hopefully it's got all three of those. I'm not positive because I couldn't really find anything that looked like that or any combo like that to compare it to. So um, what do y'all think about these pairings I showed today? Um, just a few. I'll show some more as we go on, as the year gets on. Um, I can't wait for that Inchy Desert Ghost Girl to go. Um, can't wait to see what that Acid Hat Clown does with the Smiley Face Girl. Just some really, really cool stuff. So down in the comments, y'all let me know which one of the babies was y'all's favorite. And... Let me know which pairing y'all liked, and as always, check us out on Morph Market. I'll put the link down in the description, and hopefully we'll have another video out for y'all next week, and y'all have a great day.